What is up boys and welcome back to a brand new video today gonna be doing another team testing with a brand new team uh, gonna be using Assault Vest Rayquaza. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna try out Assault Vest Rayquaza. I think this is gonna be the second time I use Mega Rayquaza. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think the first time I used Mega Ray, I was using the Focus Ash Swords Dance Ray. Yeah, so this is only gonna be the second time that I use a Rayquaza. That's actually crazy, considering that this Pokemon has been just popular since like the beginning so let's see I know I don't want to run earth power on it I would like to run earth power on uh, mega ray but I don't want to give it like a negative nature somewhere like a negative defense nature or something like that so I think I'll just give it all physical attacks Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed, and I think I'm going to give it Waterfall because with this team, I think Primal Groudon is going to be a bit of a problem. And then I'm going to give it Icy Wind because I don't care if, because uh, I'm going to give it Adamant Nature. I want an Adamant Nature. I don't care that it's, uh, its special attack is going to be weak because I don't care about Icy Wind. And when it, it's only 55 power. I don't need it to do a ton of damage. The only reason I want it is uh, for speed control. See, max out the attack. What kind of spread do people usually run though on Assault Vest Ray? I wonder, should I just go with my standard spread? Like 196? I mean, dude, damn, I just realized, I'm just noticing now that Rayquaza has 105 HP, bro. One, I'll give it 196 HP and then 60 speed. With the icy wind, that should help it out. Cause I mean, do I, ha I mean, I don't think pe do people invest in Rayquaza's special defense. I mean, you already have the assault vest, so why would you waste EVs and special defense? But what should my other one be? Okay, I'm gonna run Ultra Necrozma. I I, I tried out a team with Ultra Necrozma and Togetic. But it didn't really like do that much, but I think I need Ultra Necrozma here because I need something with Earth Power. Let's see, Photon Geyser. Earth Power. Yeah, because Earth Power can help me Earth Power can help me out with like stack attacks and stuff like that. And I'm gonna give it Calm Mind. Protect. Timid. Max speed. Max special attack. And uh, Tapu Lele for sure. Got to get that Psychic Terrain. And let's see. I don't have anything with Focus Ash. So I think I'm going to get Focus Ash on Lele. Psychic. Moonblast. And Taunt. I need Taunt. I like, I like running Focus Ash Lele with Taunt to help me out with freaking Smeargles, dude. Freaking Smeargles. And I, I guess I'll bring Togetic back. We'll see how it does with this team now that I have Mega Ray. The main reason I used Togetic with Ultra Necrozma was because of Follow Me and I can set up Calm Minds. But Snarl Incineroar uh, was a bit of a problem. Let's see, I think I was running Follow Me. Tailwind for sure. Encore. Now, do I want to run a phys uh, physically bulky Togetic or a specially defensive Togetic? Hmm. You know what? I think I'll try out a bold nature one for right now. I mean, we sh we'll still be pretty bulky. Uh, uh, it's special defense will still be pretty bulky anyway. 
And let's see. I think I'll just bring back Stack Attack because I need something to help me out with Xerneas. I'll bring back my Shuckaberry Stack Attacker. Because I can already see Xerneas being a bit of a problem. Rock Slide, Gyro Ball, Trick Room. I think my other Stack Attacker, I was running... Yeah, I was running Skill Swap for Groudon. No, for Kyogre? For Groudon. I think it was Kyogre. Yeah, I think I'd rather put Protect. I don't need Skill Swap here. Uh, give it Adamant. I think I was running Max HP, Max Attack. No, I think I was... I, was I running Max HP? I don't even know. Okay, so we got Togetic. We got Tapu Lele. We got Ultra Necrozma, we got Mega Ray. Um, at least I'm hoping that Waterfall will get some Groudon's uh, off guard because I I feel like you don't see Waterfall Mega Ray Quaza as much anymore. It's pretty much now uh, Life Orb Ray with like Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed, Earth Power, um, Protect. So I don't I don't I don't think you see Waterfall that much. And let's see, I need a Z Mover. I need fake out support. And I need an intimidator, so we're just gonna throw an incendiar. I mean I could try out him on top. Nah, but I need a uh, I need something for Lunala. Him on top's not gonna help me out with Lunala. Fake out, flare blitz. Now question is, do I wanna use U-turn or snarl? I think we'll try out U-turn for now. Because I already have a, a Incineroar ready to go with U-turn. And I think that one, the one I have already in my, P in my PC is like max HP, max attack. Alright, let's see. Let's get like a battle in or two battles in. Stack attack, and here we go. And there it is, boys. There it is. Smeargle, Xerneas, Kangaskhan, Salamence, Tapu Lele, and Groudon. Uh, let me see. I think you bring... You, he, he could either, he could just go Kangaskhan, Zern, or Smeargle, Zern. Xerneas is coming. You bring Groudon for sure because I have stack attack. Huh? I do want to lead off Lele. Because if he goes Smeargle... Xerneas. And that could be Choice Scarf Lele. Because Xerneas Groudon is coming for sure. I can see Smeargle too. Do I want to go Rayquaza here? Ray lead. Stack attacker. We need yeah, we need stack attacker for sure. And uh do I bring Ultra Necrozma and Incineroar? I think I'm gonna go Incineroar. Smeargle and Whoa! Oh damn! I did not see that coming! Uh Smeargle Xerneas, I did not see that coming, boys. Did not see that coming. Alright, let's taunt the Smeargle and switch out to Stack Attacker. Didn't see that one coming, boys. Didn't see uh, Xerneas Smeargle coming. Come on, what are you gonna do? Uh, follow me? <laughs> uh, Geomancy? We know you have Groudon in the back though. Oh, you went for fake out. Okay. Alright, so here's uh, where we have a problem. Xerneas could protect and he could switch out into Groudon here. Or he can just attack and then the, expecting me to go for Trick Room and then switch in Groudon. 
I know I'm going for Psychic into Smeargle. And I think I'd rather go for the Gyro Ball if the Xerneas decides to attack here. Because if I go for Trick Room, Groudon's going to outspeed Lele now. But he's probably just going to protect it, right? I'm going Gyro Ball. Yep, there's the Groudon just like I called it. Called it. Get out of here, dude. You're so predictable, bro. So predictable. And he forfeited. Get out of here. So predictable, bro. Look at. Look, I, don't, I don't think you guys can see this. He has a 14. 20, he, had, he had a 1426 rating and went down to a 1400 rating. Who was it? Who was it that, that tweeted out about this? Uh, oh, it was Weedle Twinedle. Um. But was it? No, no, no. Okay, no. He tweeted out that people will lead off with Xerneas and uh, Xerneas and um, Incineroar. That they always lead off with it. Well, they if they have Xerneas Smeargle, they'll pretty much lead off with it. I even called it, dude. I even called it. He has he had a 1426 rating. He went down to a 1400, bro. Oh my god. I was like, and that's the reason why I didn't want to go for Trick Room because I was like, if he expects me to go for Trick Room here, he's probably going to want to attack with uh, Xerneas. And that's going to suck because if I get Trick Room up, Groudon will outspeed Lele. So, even though I do have Focus Ash, I mean, Xerneas could have gone for like a Dazzling Gleam or something. But, uh, yeah, he switched in Groudon, just like I said. I went. For, this, is the, this is the reason why I want Psychic on Lele instead of Psyshock. Like, I know I can use Psyshock for... Uh, I know I can use Psyshock for... Uh, for Xerneas, but the reason why I want Psychic is because it's a little bit more stronger and I can hit Groudon uh, with it harder, especially under Psychic Terrain, since Groudon's special defense is lower than its uh, physical defense. But yeah, just like I said, I was like, he's probably going to go Xerneas Miracle. He went with it. So this is the reason why I like Focus Sash Lele. Get the taunt off on Smeargle, uh, switched out Incineroar into Stack Attacka. My opponent has a boosted Xerneas. They're not going to switch it out. When someone gets their Geomancy up with Xerneas, they're not going to switch it out. So I was just like, I can either go for Trick Room or I can go for the Gyro Ball. And it doesn't matter because if he protects Xerneas and switches in Groudon, it doesn't matter because I still get the hit on Groudon with Psychic. And then um, and then the following turn, my opponent's going to go for like, my opponent's going to be like, they're going to go for uh, Moonblast into Lele to knock me out. And then they're going to go for Precipice Blades on Stack Attacka. But I'm going to get them off, catch them off guard with uh, the Focus Sash. So we still knock out Groudon and I can either go for the Gyro Ball still or just go for a Trick Room. So either way, I was in control right there. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to end it right there. I'm going to I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end this video on a high note, defeating this 1426 rated dude, running a standard team from top to bottom and just trying to go with uh, Smeargle Xerneas thinking that he's going to get... Uh, thinking that he was going to get a GMNT up and just win the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.